Mikey Mussolini. Am I saying that right? Mussolini, Muccicelli. You guys know who I'm talking about. Mikey is awesome. And Mikey, who's a black belt in jujitsu, he's the one championship grappling champion. Mikey made, made most of his headlines due to his diet that he only eats pasta and pizza. Nothing else goes in his body. Doesn't matter if it's for breakfast, he eats pasta or he eats pizza. This is what he claims. Now, he's a skinny fella. He's not covering muscles, but that was just interesting. Generally, you're top athletes and you got to hear about some uh, keto or some uh, greens with spinach. Or it's just like kind of the way it goes. So when you have a guy that reaches the highest of levels, oh, and by the way, just tells the truth, because those athletes that you think are doing paleo and keto and whatever else, whoever paid them to st drop their name, they're not. They're not doing any of that stuff. They're doing the dollar menu just like every other ordinary person. They then remanufacture it and they come and they lie to you and somebody lines their pockets. I'm mean, just sharing with you that that's how it works. Eventually, somebody will get a hold of Mikey and have enough money and Mikey will say he doesn't need pizza anymore and it will be a lie. But I'm sharing, like, this is an interesting thing, right? Reminding you guys, if you know who Mikey is, Mikey would go out, he'd have to take his glasses off. Then he'd go tie somebody up into a bow in one championship. Chachri would give him a 50 grand bonus and he'd have to put his glasses on so he could find Chachri in the ring to thank him. He's great. Mikey's just great. That's my point. Mikey's awesome. Mikey is now the head grappling coach hired by Mark Zuckerford. And I think that's really interesting. And I want to know your take. Look, I've been behind this Zuckerford thing from the beginning. I mean, I must tell you. And we never really knew the extent that Mark was a fan. And all of a sudden, he shows up at a UFC. It's just him and Dana. And all of a sudden, these rumors start up about the UFC and Facebook from a programming standpoint. But Dana confirms they're going to do something with Facebook in the Metasphere, which if you were alive 18 months ago, it was the only word you could hear. And if you haven't heard it in 18 months, you probably haven't heard it until I just said it right now. Like, like there's this great big thing that's going to go on with the Metasphere. I don't know. It's apparently not. But then you get Zuckerberg going out, and he enters a grappling competition. And that was awesome, because this was a regular competition. Abu Dhabi itself, guys, this big, beautiful thing that our sport respects more than any other sport, was done in a closed room for the entertainment of a very wealthy man. And that man couldn't just pop into any event. It was security, and it was a risk, and it was, it was a lot of things where they had to come to him. Provided for an amazing opportunity for our industry. I would just share for you that all of those same factors were still at play for Zuckerford, and he went to the tournament. He didn't buy the tournament. He didn't host the tournament. He didn't put it on. He didn't write a check. He didn't line the brackets up. He didn't pick the officials. He put down an entry fee, and he entered the tournament. That was incredible, and he didn't get any credit for it. Then when the match wins and he doesn't win, he's not supposed to win. How would a guy that's never done it before, where other guys like him that couldn't do it, so they spent crazy amounts of money to bring it in just so they could show their support as a fan, how is he supposed to win with no experience? Would you want to be held to that standard? Would you want to be the main event, the main attraction? Everybody stops, everybody watching you. Oh, and by the way, you, you know one secret, which is I've never done this before. I'm really nervous to be here. This is a bucket list. This is a lifelong goal. I've mustered up the courage, and here I am. Because this is what ends up happening, and it didn't go his way. So what's he going to do now? Quit, right? He's done. Yeah, that's what I would have guessed, too. I would have guessed that, too. And I still would have patted him on the back and said, good job. Welcome to the community. It's for life. For life. You now belong to this community. Good job. Here's your hat. There's the door. I would have thought that's what's going to happen. What's wrong with that for a guest? That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Well, apparently we don't know this guy very well. And apparently when, when, when you go and build a billion dollar company in your dorm room, apparently it takes a little bit of grit. Takes a little bit of drive. Apparently, having doors shut in your face and losing or having people snicker at you 
isn't new to the territory because Zuckerberg is now and he's gone out and he's employed the best grappler in the world. What else would you, what would you like to call Mikey? Who's ranked number one? Who, by the way, is the one championship belt holder? He's got so many other accomplishments. I just don't, I don't want to state him just in case I get one wrong. Now let's take a little bit closer. So now we just learned who Mark Zuckerberg is. That's, that's what we just learned. We learned that we now have a competitor. Who when things didn't go his way, they wanted to go that way, right? I mean, but, but not for nothing. If you're getting behind a Fortune 500 company and you're getting behind a founder and or a CEO and you find out that he's not a quitter, it's going to mean something. You find out he doesn't get the result that he wanted, then instead of letting it go and saying, uh, what, what, what great memories, glad I tried, he buckles down and is going to try again. I'm just sharing for you. That's the kind of person you can really get behind now. Is it the right hire? Hard question. You could hire anybody, and you wanted to go into grappling, you would probably come to the determination right up there with Gordon Ryan and Craig Jones that Mikey. Muchamini is the best. You'd come to that conclusion, are you best to hire the best? Now, that's always a philosophical question that's really hard. Many will tell you that Michael Jordan was the greatest player of all time. Many will tell you that. And many will argue for you that LeBron James is now the greatest player of all time. But nobody would stake a hedge on a bet that Jordan is going to become a coach of a team or that LeBron will go be the coach of a team. As a matter of fact, the rich guys that play for team, right? Those basketball players are rich. Whoever signs their check is wealthy. The wealthy guys don't want, they don't court, they don't ask, they are not interested in having Michael Jordan come coach a team. And same thing goes for LeBron James. Nobody's even interested. It's not a matter of getting a no. Nobody is asking or even wants them to do it. Why? And so many times in life, we see this, right? If you can't do something, teach it. If you're not good in business, go and be a professor. Teach other people business. We see this all the time, but we see it in sport as well. Best coaches, you know, Phil Jackson, oh, decorated in success. And so many people try to take it from Phil and say, well, he had these great teams. But maybe they were his teams, though. But they don't have all those rings. They don't have all those resumes, and they weren't chosen to be on the all-star team or slam dunk contest or the Olympic team or chosen for a Big Mac commercial. And so it's a, it's a really interesting concept. If Zuckerberg is looking for roles, because we don't know what his deal is, right? We don't know if his deal is technique. We don't know if his deal is strategy. The part that he feels, hey, this is what I need. He feels, I don't have the biggest muscles in the world, but I'm pretty good at flexibility. This is a guy who doesn't use power. He uses flexibility. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to learn the techniques. If that's the thing, we're in a good spot. What if it's fear? What if it's a matter of I don't know how good my opponent is? This is a really common one, guys. It's a real common one that athletes often have a hard time articulating. My deal, my setback, is what, it's whatever you think it is. That is it. I don't know how good these guys are. I don't know what he's going to do to me. I don't know how bad this is going to hurt. I don't know how fast he can put me to sleep. If that's your deal, then you get Mikey. You hire him. You set times. And you go live. You do live goes, being a rational thinking person. If I can deal with this and get to the point that this does not petrify me, then it, there's nothing that I'm going to come across in a Saturday tournament. And I would just be curious, what are those things? What are those things you look for? I think Sugar Ray Leonard was the greatest boxer ever. But he didn't train anybody. I think Mike Tyson was the best boxer of my lifetime. Of my lifetime. And maybe that gets passed over to Klitschko's, who, by the way, don't train anybody. Or Lennox Lewis, who, by the way, hadn't even considered training anybody because he's high all the time. Or that gets passed over to Tyson Fury. None of them are trainers. None of them are coaches. So would you rather have those kinds of guys? Or would you give some real consideration to somebody that took a guy who had nothing? He wasn't a white belt. He didn't even own a belt, but he took him all the way to the world championship. And then wonder, could he do that with me too? It's philosophical. It's a tough question. I'm not second guessing it. I'm observing it. I'm impressed with Zuckerberg. I'll tell you that much. 
I don't think there's a lot of CEOs that could fall on their face and get right back up. I think it's impressive. I think Mikey's a good hire. I do wonder, though, if this is going to be a competitor in our sport and I'm going to have to cover him. I would like to know his thing, the thing, the thing, the piece that he feels is missing. What is it? 